fireworks over the 4th of July holiday. Experts want people to have fun, but be safe too. Andy Sheehan takes a look at the potential danger. The 4th is almost here, and do-it-yourself pyrotechnic enthusiasts are stocking up. I got these little ones to kind of start the show. I still have some mortars left over from last year. It's year two since the legalization of most of these products, and Anthony Forbes is loading up his cart with $800 worth of once illegal fireworks. Quite a bit of stuff here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> they like the, the colorful stuff, and uh, we usually have a uh, pretty good crowd at our house. Pyrotechnic fireworks are now legal in Pennsylvania, and that means bumper business at places like Phantom Fireworks here in Monroeville. But it's also a concern to fire officials. Where they could be aimed at, uh, the structural damage that could occur from a fire that happens, the injuries that occur every year. It used to be you could only buy glorified sparkler products in PA. But now firecrackers, Roman candles, bottle rockets, and fireworks that contain a maximum of 50 milligrams of explosive material are legal. And last year, Allegheny County Fire Chief Matt Brown saw an uptick in the incidents. I'm certain that there were some additional fires and certainly injuries. I know nationally it's reported that there are about 16,000 injuries every 4th of July related to fireworks. This is a, will give you a lot of good willows where they break at the top and then just fall down kind of like a willow tree, which is really, really cool. Some of these products shoot fireballs 150 feet in the air and Phantom urges safety. I always suggest to make sure these are braced so they don't tip or fall or anything like that and they're on a hard, flat surface. Uh -huh. uh, you know, those are huge safety tips in themselves. Chief Brown has some other advice. There are a lot of fantastic uh, commercially, professionally provided fireworks shows. I would highly recommend attending those. Um, don't do this at home. Absolutely. Andy Sheehan, KDK News.